So I've always liked Venus fly traps. When I used to see them in stores as a kid, I used to always want them. And every now and again, my parents would, would get it for me. And it'd be cool to have a Venus fly trap. And, but it would only stay alive for a little while. And that was because when they used to sell the plant to you in the grocery stores where I used to buy it, uh, they didn't have the growing conditions listed on the label. They just sold the plant, which is not, not optimal, right? You want to be able to buy a plant and you want to keep it alive. You want the plant to continue to grow and thrive. You don't want to buy a plant for it to die. But I used to buy it, my parents would get it for me. And I've always had a fascination with these plants that eat insects because it's like this, you know, such such a cool thing. We think about plants as stationary. They don't move. They're not very active. You know, plants do move, of course, they move quite a bit, but just at a different speed than than what we do. But you think about them in that way. But then you find out about these carnivorous plants, of which there are a great many types of carnivorous plants and they're all eating insects and you're like, wow, this is something different. You know, that's not your normal black eyed Susan. 